All right, we've got two foals now. So let's go to the barn and see what it looks like. The first one. Oh, where's the baby? Hello, everyone, and welcome back. So today we are on Rancher Rivershine to check out the new quality of life update that was implemented about a week ago. And I also want to breed the horses that I planned on breeding originally and see what foals we get. So I'm really excited to see some of the changes. There's been some new animations and hitching posts and other cool things. I'm also really excited to see how our foal grows up and to see the new foals that we get. Before we get started today though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. Okay, let's do this. So I actually did record about an hour's worth of footage only to realize that the music and game sound had somehow been turned all the way back up and uh, you couldn't even hear me. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I'll kind of quickly catch you up. So I did go ahead and put measles in the fertility. Oh, first of all, look, I can sprint. How amazing is that? In my last video, I was complaining that I had to run so slowly to the fertility pasture, but now I can just super fast run there. Okay, anyway, so I have measles out in the pasture, and if you don't know measles story, you can go back and watch that video before this one. And I also renamed her Starry Night because I got so many <laughs> responses from you guys, like you should have named her Starry Night, like the painting, and you know, you're right. She looks like a night sky, so it makes sense. Um, measles was just a funny name. <laughs> so anyway, she is out there trying to get pregnant with Pancake here. I don't know what we're gonna get, but we've got the Blue Roan Appaloosa with this Bay Sabino. So that will be interesting. Okay, the other thing, here is our little foal from the last time. She's so gorgeous. I love her coat. And once she's grown, I'm going to sell this mare because they both have the same coat. She's a Blue Roan Sabino and so is this foal. But she is just gorgeous. She looks like Granite, so that is her name. The other thing I had to do is retire Venture. And I also want to retire Magic, but I've kind of went against that because of his coloration. But because we do have the Blue Roan already going on in the herd, it made more sense to retire Venture. I didn't want to, but you can only have 12 active horses at a time and my stable was completely full and I wouldn't be able to breed. Gunner is Magic and Venture's son. So we have their lineage going and we're gonna be breeding him eventually. I was actually considering breeding him with Abby today as well, because I wanna breed Abby. She's the liver chestnut Sabino. And here you can kind of see her pattern is really cool. She's a really pretty horse. I don't know who I want to pair her with. I'm kind of considering pairing her with Magic. I think that might be a cool combo. So let me go ahead and pick up a horse. And we're going to go to town and we're going to check out the new stuff. And actually, I'm going to just grab Gunner since he does need some training. And do that. So here's the first new animation, a rear. It's so cute. <laughs> very simple, but very cute. Okay, secondly, they've added where you can pet the horse's face. Aw, just a very quick motion, but I mean, it's nice to give your horses some love. Okay, the third thing you can now mount from behind. Whoops. There we go. Total Red Dead style. <laughs> Wild West vibes. The next thing... Oh, this one's really cool. So we have first person mode. Now at first, I thought I would not really care about first person, but it's really cute actually to see the horse's ears twitch. You see the little ear to the side. It's so cute. And I read in the patch notes that this is experimental and they might even take it away. And I really hope that they don't because it's so cute. You can just kind of enjoy the environment and really delve yourself into going on a trail ride or, you know, training, whatever it is. So I really, really like it. For the next thing, we're going to head into town. Oh, the other thing too, they've reduced prices on upgrades, which is really cool for people that have not bought them yet. I don't even have all of them yet, so I'm happy about that. So there's more people walking around. 
and I'm not seeing anybody here. Oddly enough, now I'm gonna be made to be a liar. <laughs> where are they? Okay, well, I don't know where anybody's at, but the last couple of in-game days, all around the town, there's horses hitched. And it's so cute to see them just standing there, hanging out. It brings a lot of life to the town, but it's really weird that there are none here right now. Maybe there's some sort of event I don't know about. <laughs> okay, here is how the hitching works. So I just kind of ride up to the post and there we go. It just pops on there and your horse is hitched. So the other thing, if your horse is not hitched, and if I were to just kind of leave him right here alone, he's going to wander off. There he goes. <laughs> I guess the higher your affection for each other, the less they'll wander and kind of hang out. But that makes hitching your horse worth it. That way they don't wander off. Okay, so the next thing to take note of and look at is the new pre-jump animation. And I do want to win some money anyway, because I want to unlock the other wild horse pens. So Gunner is not very well trained. So I think we can probably do the intermediate with him. I think advanced might be too much. Uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so the jumping has changed. Oh! Okay, I failed horribly, but I did see that animation. Look. So the horse does perk its head up, its ears go forward, and it looks like it's approaching the jump. And then the rider... I need to stop looking because I'm going to fail this race horribly. But um, the rider does kind of change positions. Oh gosh, okay. I gotta actually finish. Oh, the jumps are so fast now. I forgot. That's the other thing. So they increased the speed in which you go over the jumps. And oh my gosh, it is so much faster. <laughs> wow. I am just barreling through here. Holy cow. Yes, I can see the difference in the horse. And it's a very small detail, but it looks really good. It makes the horse feel like it's... Oh gosh, my jumping level is way too low for this. I have to be perfectly lined up or he is not going to jump. Um, anyway, yeah, it makes him feel a lot more lifelike. Like he's paying attention to what he's doing. There, slowing before the jump helps. Oh gosh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think I could get the hang of it. It's just very, very different. Oh, fourth place. Yeah, that was a uh, little bit too greedy. Little too greedy with all the mess ups. Let me grab Abby and go into my own arena. Gosh, she's so pretty. It's too bad her stats are so low. So let's do the intermediate country barrel course. And I can try to show you more of the animation. The rider leans or kind of sits up a little bit more and leans into it. It makes the horse feel more alive. And here it is from first person. And there, you can see how the horse perked up. Ears went forward. And again, there it is. So I think that that kind of covers, oh, one more thing to show you that is new. So over here, you now have an orchard, orchard plots. So on these two plots, you can put trees and they take 21 days to grow, and then once they're grown, though, they're there forever. And during a certain season, they'll produce an apple. Like, this is an apple tree. So while it's in season, it will make one apple every single day. Well, I don't actually don't know if it's just one apple. It could be several. I really don't know yet. So that's really nice to have an unlimited supply of apples for your horses. So I am going to put this horse away and go to sleep and show you the other new thing that was added. I love this sprint, it's so awesome. So it warns you before you go to sleep that you're going to start a new day and save. And then this is new. So it kind of wraps up your entire day, how much you earn from competitions, um, or if you sold stuff, or if you sold horses, all the different stats for your day. So kind of like uh, Stardew Valley. And then the other thing right here on the top right, or mid right, I guess, It'll show you anything that happens on, or important events, I guess. So the farmer is in town. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> as far as I can tell, a notification would also pop up if your horse successfully became pregnant or had a foal 
or um, a full grew up or anything like that, that would also pop up right there, which means my mare is still not pregnant. <laughs> I'm going to go and double check just to make sure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that means that she is not pregnant yet. Just going to sprint on over. Indeed, not pregnant. So we have to continue waiting. I do eventually want to retire Noelle and Spartan probably, but they are um, one of my better statted horses. And I really do need to do a lot of races to get more money because I'm pretty poor at the moment. And sure enough, our baby is still a baby. So cute. So I believe that is everything new to the update. I might be forgetting one or two things. And if I do, I will bring that up in a bit, but I am going to race some horses and continue going on until we've got a pregnant horse and can, or a grown mare and catch up with you in a bit. And now waking up, oh, finally, Starry Night is pregnant. I don't have to run all the way out to her pasture to check. Ooh, and there's some wild horses in Pine Forest. Okay, so that's the plan for this day. I'm going to go ahead and pull Starry Night. Starry Night? <laughs> what? I'm going to pull Starry Night out of the fertility pasture and um, get our other two in there that we want. So, Abby needs to go out there. She looks so good with this tack. All right, and then we also need... Well, it depends on who I'm going to breed her with. I'm still kind of debating, do I want to breed her with magic? Or do I want to breed her with Gunner? Uh, I think I'm going to breed her with magic. I don't know. I feel like that might be a pretty pairing. So let's bring these guys out. So we already got magic. That's good. We're going to pair him with... There we go. So here's our pairing. We've got the liver chestnut Sabino with the buttermilk Dun. So that'll be interesting. They have a decent chance of being successful. Okay, do we have a grown foal? That's the other question. Nope, still a foal. After this, I probably will retire magic, but we'll just have to see. So, yep, she is pregnant. She's got her belly there. So cute. And where is my stallion? He over there? Oh, that's the mare. Where is he? Oh, there he is. So I think I'm actually gonna sell him now that I've bred him and I wanna see the other wild horses. So let's go ahead and take Gunner out again. I guess I should probably feed him before I forget. My horses end up sick because I'll just end up taking them out for the day, forget to do their daily care, which is horrible. It's so wrong. Okay, so to the auction house, we're gonna sell Pancake. That will free up another stable slot. And then I have a little bit of time to worry about if I find a wild horse I like today, I'll have some time to find a place for other horses. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier. So here's a horse, just, that's a really pretty horse. I think I said that earlier, but anyway, just kind of hanging out, hitched to the hitching post and there's some more. And it makes the town feel so much more alive. I love that detail. Little things like that add so much to a game. Okay, auction house we go. We are going to sell pancake. I'm sorry, pancake. We just wanted your coat. <laughs> and I'm going to keep the rest of these guys for now. Delilah will probably end up going at some point, but I do want a paint within my herd, so I don't want to sell her quite yet. Wait, where are you going? Okay, Lupine Meadow is where the wild horses are. So let's just go see if there's anything worth looking at and keeping. I'm not going to get too distracted from my main goal, though. <laughs> which is to breed those two horses and have those two foals. Were they here, right? It's not Lupine Meadow. Where were they? They must have been in the woods by my ranch. I think in a comment a while back, someone said that you can find Palominos in Pine Forest. I have not seen them for myself yet, but if that's true, that would be really cool. If we do see a Palomino, I will have to take it home. So we'll see. Oh, is that immediately a Palomino? Oh my gosh, it is. There's two. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow. All right, I need to catch these two Palominos because one of them is coming home with me. It looks like it has no white on it at all. Just a solid Palomino. I'm so excited, you guys. 
I want to try and get a stallion to breed a Palomino paint with Delilah. I mean, to make a Palomino paint, I mean. <laughs> okay, there is the round pin. Where are you going? Oh, okay, there is a white stripe on the face. Oh no. I am having so much trouble getting this horse into this pen. Okay, go in there. Nope, go in there. All right, I gotta go back for the other Pally. I'm so excited. Yay, the Palominos do exist. Okay, here is our second friend. And it looks like to be almost the same pattern. As long as one's a stallion, I am gonna be happy, so. Nope, don't turn. Keep going this way. Go into first person mode for this. This first person mode is so cool. Okay, let's see what we've got. Really pretty, are they the same color? I don't know, one looks slightly darker. Okay. Oh, we've got a stallion. Yes. Oh, it's all beginner. Oh, that, that sucks. So that's a light Palomino. So I wonder if this one is darker. Bold ocean, another stallion. Also beginner stats. A flaxen palomino. Oh my gosh, okay, so what's the difference here? The mane and tail is flaxen compared to this one not being flaxen, I guess. Oh, he's really pretty, you guys. The only difference, I think this horse seems slightly darker. And I guess because he has flaxen, he could throw some flaxen foals. I don't know which is more rare, a flaxen palomino or a light palomino. With the flaxen trait that can be passed down to foals, so I almost feel like it'd be smarter to go with bold ocean. So I think I'm gonna take Bold Ocean home. I just looked up a guide kind of to their coat colors. It was <laughs> cute, this horse was hitched. Um, anyway, it seems like there's Palomino, there's no Flaxen Palomino on there. It's just Flaxen is a whole separate thing. So hopefully I made a good choice in taking him. And now because I got him, I'm pretty sure that I need to, oh, his stats are so bad too. Ugh. I need to get rid of another horse because I'm not gonna have room. That's so cool that we found a Palomino. I'm so excited about that, that's awesome. She also has the flax and mane and tail. So I wonder how that's gonna go. So, oh yeah, this horse is gonna go as soon as this one's grown. So that's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna do some more racing, get some more money and hope that those two are pregnant tomorrow and maybe that foal will be grown. So we have our second pregnant horse. Abby is pregnant. Perfect. So now it's a waiting game of six more days for one foal. And how is this foal not grown yet? I feel like she has been a foal for a long time. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that this menu was here. Oh, and she's gonna grow tomorrow. All right, awesome. So where's my new pregnant? Here we go. So it says that she's pregnant and she will give birth in seven days. So we get more information on their menus now. That's really convenient. I like it. Pregnant mama number one. Her stats are not too bad, honestly, but I feel like I'll never actually train her. And our second pregnant mom. So she is also in here and I've almost got her endurance completely maxed out. I will do that with her. I think for this stallion, I'm just gonna put him out in the pasture. I will never train this horse. He's, <laughs> he does not have enough stats to worry about it. I just want him for his coat color. All right, I'm gonna do all these races, wait the full week for these foals to be born, and then I will show you guys what the babies look like. See you soon. Granite is now a young adult. So this is what she looks like. Really pretty horse. Look how cool these markings are. And I love her blue eyes and black ears. She's so pretty. All right, we've got two foals now. So let's go to the barn and see what it looks like. The first one. Oh, where's the baby? Oh, ooh. Wow, it's got like, is that a red mane and tail? A chestnut Sabino? <laughs> It looks so funny with the, that's like really, really red. That looks hilarious. We've got a little filly. She's, um, she's interesting. She kind of reminds me of, oh, what's that redheaded girl? Annie. She reminds me of Annie. 
That'd be a good name for her. Little Orphan Annie, that's who it is. I'm pretty sure she was a redhead, right? Let me let mom and baby out here. Just so that we can have them all together. All right, where is your baby? Oh, there she is. She, <laughs> she's so funny. Okay, where is the other foal? <gasps> oh, it's over there. It looks like, is it a roan? I think it is. Oh! We've got a Bay Roan Appaloosa. Wow! And it's another filly. So she's got the Appaloosa from mom. Okay, so she got a combination of, a, of, of both parents, actually, because the Bay Roan, that is what dad was. But he was a Bay Roan Sabino, and then she's the Appaloosa. So definitely a combination of genetics. So I like her thick blaze. That's super cute. I like her Appaloosa spots. And Bay Roans are just overall pretty nice. So cute little filly. And let's go back to our other foal. <laughs> the redhead. And we've got the Sabino from Mom. But then we've got Chestnut. Very, very red mane and tail. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this foal Annie. But this foal over here, you guys can name. So here she is again, Bay Roan Appaloosa. Go ahead and say down in the comments what a good name for this little girl will be. I'm going to go ahead and place the mamas and babies back here. I don't know if it's this is fixed or not. But before, when I try to place them separately, they just kind of bug out and end up in the main pasture anyway. But we will see if it will work. I just realized mom's name is Abby and I named the foal Annie. <laughs> so it kind of works perfectly. I think next time I want to try and breed Abby and Bubbles. Come back here with the other baby. Ooh, barely made it out of the way. Okay, I want to have the babies together. Let's go over here and see the babies. Come on. Both mamas and both babies. Oh, that's so cute. Hopefully in the future they'll add like a rolling animation. I love when games do that. So from here, I'm going to continue grinding, selling horses, racing, and trying to upgrade those round pins so we can get some higher quality, better colored horses. I love breeding in this game. I love seeing the different patterns we can get. So... Look forward to more of that. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And again, please drop some names for this foal right behind me because she needs a name. I'll see you guys soon. Until next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.